everyone that was there said they thought he was going to be okay. You know, he was... Th this shows how good of a guy this guy must have been. He was asking, you know, go make sure my son's okay. Go make sure everything's okay. And, um, you know, it didn't end up that he was okay. He died last night. I, I have some personal things about this, but AC, what do you think? It's it's a real shame. It's a real shame. It's just an unfortunate sequence of events, and especially because the guy was a 39-year-old firefighter. You know, you feel bad for anybody, but especially bad for someone who, you know, risks their lives daily to save people uh, trapped in fires. And, and from what I'm hearing, the guy was a great guy. Like you said, he was asking about his son when he was literally going out of consciousness. So... I mean, you know, you, you just you can ask why it, did it happen. I don't know. People say there's a reason for everything, but this this pretty much sucks for everybody in the situation involved. Yeah, that that's a bunch of shit. The people I saw on ESPN, the people sitting next to them, uh, the whole interview was good. I can tell these people really felt for him. But then they asked the lady, "What would you tell the family?" And she said, "God did this for a reason." You can't sell that to me. That's a, that's a bunch of crap. If God did that for a reason, then there, there's seriously some issues with this world, because there's a lot of people walking around that hurt people, kill people, and all that stuff that are living perfectly fine. Case in point, Osama bin Laden for 10 years before they finally killed him. And to do this to a guy who's got a 6-year-old kid, he's just trying to enjoy a baseball game, he was a big Rangers fan, he reaches over to catch a ball for his son so he can give his son a ball, he had just bought a new glove for his son right before the game, and for the son to be there and like have to watch all this happen, it... It just, it sucks. It really does. Justin, what do you think, man? Man, I I was actually, once I heard about this, I was actually on Yahoo.com. I was checking my emails, and all of a sudden, I read the blog on Yahoo Sports, and I was just shocked. I mean, a young kid losing his, his father at his age, it's going to be hard for the rest of his life. That's all I have to say in this situation right now. Yeah, like, I, I can't imagine that happening. I really can't. I've had... People, including my dad, get really, really sick, but never die, obviously. And it just, that, that sucks. And I, I almost feel like a dick for a lot of reasons, because I had a huge head injury last year. I got hit in the head with baseball. I know AC's heard this story about a thousand times now, but it's it involves this story. I got hit in the head with a baseball, and I, I had a, everyone thought I had a concussion. I ended up having this brain hemorrhage thing where your brain bleeds and I missed all my sports for like a year which is why I did so many shows last year and you know I thought this is the worst thing that could possibly happen to me and now I just feel like a dick thinking about the fact that I, I was lucky enough to have this happen to me and this guy who has a kid and is a firefighter he died just trying to reach over and catch a baseball. This is a second fan in two years that has fallen out of the stands at um, Rangers Ballpark. Yeah, like they have some. They gotta correct something. Maybe I don't even know what. This was just a freak accident, though. I mean, I was watching the thing on outside the lines today, and they said, you know, who, what could be, what could have done, been done to prevent this. There's nothing. The, the ball was hit through the left field, the ball goal missed it, it hit the wall, it kicked over to Josh Hamilton, and he said he was just thinking about, I'll give it back to the ball girl, but he had remembered the time before when it was hit to him, the dad had said something, you know, throw it up here, and um, he, he said, okay, next time I'll throw it up there, and he did, and it just wasn't a good enough throw, I mean, I can't imagine going back out to left field if you're Josh Hamilton. I don't, I, I don't know, man. It's just, it's a terrible situation. Uh, Hamilton has to feel bad. I mean, none of this is his fault. And if anybody even uh, implies that it's his fault, they're they're an a hole. Um, but that's another story for another day. Um, you can't fault Hamilton. You can't fault really anybody in this. Like you said, it was a freak accident, and you know you can't fault the ballpark. They nothing wrong with the ballpark it's not like the stands collapsed or something just 
just happen. Stuff just happens sometimes, and, and this was one of the unfortunate things that, you know, just happened. But it really makes you take a step back and think about, you know, that, that well, that could have been anybody. That could have been you and me. That could have been anybody. Yeah, we went through something like that at our school a few years ago, and it's just, it's so weird, especially considering we didn't know, you didn't know him, Macy, did you? No, but it was my boss. Yeah. Yeah, and we're, we don't need to go into details with all that stuff, but it was... To, to hear